Hello friends, this is Bhushan Nimlekar from Daisar Connect DC Selector. And I have got uh, today with me, uh, Mrs. Radhika Gandhi. And she is a IT professional, a person into uh, entrepreneurship and also into something which is magnificent, which has got a very humane uh, tendency or a humane um, act you know, towards the society. So Radhika ji, uh, could you introduce yourself as to what you are into so that you know I can start asking you questions on behalf of my viewers? Sure. So myself, Radhika Gandhi, uh, personally, I am uh, from a Gujarati family, staying in Daisar for nothing less than 38 years now. And uh, started my, so my schooling, my college, everything has happened uh, around. Uh, by uh, education, I am a B electronics engineer. Yep. Uh, after that, I was into multiple jobs and then I started my own business, which is into IT infrastructure solutions in 2009, June. It's been 13 years now. And uh, with respect to starting this uh, initiative, which is very uh, near to my heart, is the Punha Alai Old Age Home. Uh, precisely to tell you a small brief, it was in my heart to get into this for a long time. I have been into social life for many, many years now, precisely 19 years now. But then uh, obviously there was always a thought back of the mind that I wanted to start something of my own. Obviously it was a thought, plus parallelly it was my mom's wish as well. Great. Because she was also into the similar thing. Uh, I okay. lost her before 11 years. But then I always wanted to take this up whenever I get the right time and the opportunity. Okay. And things clicked by God's grace. And I got this opportunity to start this initiative. And we started it in August 2022. Okay. Uh, so my friends, uh, I would like to mention over here specifically, Punahale is uh, something which is very close to uh, Radhika Ma'am's heart. Uh, and it is about... Uh, uh, care for you know people who are elderly. It's a caring home or uh, home for the aged. And I think there are more uh, deeper things in that which we would discuss with Radhika ji on this because you know it's very interesting. Uh, at the moment, everyone is so busy in their own activities that at times elders feel uh, that you know uh, they may be neglected or maybe their requirements are different. And that's the reason you may have thought about it. So, Punahale, uh, kis se aapne kaise socha? if you can just elaborate on that, uh, Radhika ji. Okay, to make it more detail, uh, my initial uh, plan was to start with a uh, orphanage. Yeah. And then uh, also parallelly come into the old age home segment. Because uh, what I think is when both are together, the 50% job is done. Because the kids get the love and warmth of the elderly, yeah. and the elderly get the company of and the love and warmth of the kids, and they are they complement each other. They complement each other. They complement each other, and their life becomes more happier from True. their need basic need perspective. Okay, True. True. but then yes, uh, when I got into the uh, study of how things should be taken forward, and then I realized that with respect to orphanage, there are many nitty gritties. Many, many, many minute things to be taken care of, many sensitivities to be understood and uh, ensured that these sensitivities are managed to be healed, which demanded that I personally or one of the core members personally should be present throughout the time to get that done, yeah. which in the current situation was not possible for me. Plus, when I do something, I wanted to do 100%. I did not want to, you know, uh, have a lapse or have a... Uh, vacuum because of which the kids suffer. Okay. So then I thought I do the other way around. I start with an old age home first and then I get the orphanage in place and then I can do the needful as planned but then just a reverse effect. Reason being when you start an old age home, there are not many nitty gritties involved yeah. because you are, you are dealing with elders, you are dealing with much matured people and plus uh, the sensitivities from the rules, regulations is also managed. So that's where we started this. Uh, the thought behind this, as I earlier also said, is it was my mom's dream and my dream also. Since I was eight years old, I always, uh, sorry, since I was in eighth standard, I always thought that life mein aisa kuch karna hai, uh, which will give me the core happiness. And probably I'm inclined towards this social from childhood because of my parents, because yeah. they were also inclined. So that has always pushed me to keep on helping people. We help 
uh, two schools in Palghar regularly, which is one is of 124 kids and one is of 47 kids, where we do their regular uh, requirements fulfillment, whether it is stationary, whether it is some cycles, whether it is uh, school uniform for some of them, whether it is getting the whole school painted. Uh, yeah. They want a, a complete, they wanted an online education system, which we organize with a computer, with a screen and with the uh, software CDs like Baiju's provide similar kind which would help them do the needful in terms of their education because the teachers in these schools are not regularly available. It's far off. So sometimes either they are not able to reach and many other issues come in. Uh, that's what we do. There is a Adivasi ashram in Borivli where I support from last 20 years now yeah. in multiple requirements, whether it is uh, education or whether it is their groceries or whether it is their personal needs or et cetera, et cetera. They keep on coming to us wherever they need and we try to fulfill them. Over and above that, uh, we help uh, in terms of education wherever need be. When I throw and through resources, as I'm into this for a long time now, yeah. I get to know that uh, somebody ka fees bharna hai ya somebody's tuition fees and etc. With a scholar kid, he needs support or she needs support. So that's what we keep on doing. But this was always a plan that I want to do something of my own also. And that's what uh, kicked. So I and my cousins were discussing and my cousin is from Canada. So he said, okay, you're planning this. Let's start an initiative. You start thinking over this and then we can, I can support you wherever need be. But then as soon as I started planning, within one and a half, two months, this clicked. So I said, if it's clicked, now not let's let's not wait more and let's start it. Very good. Very nice. So I mean, you have a good support from your family also, your cousin. And I think that runs in the family because I think Mansi also is part of your family. Mansi. Yeah. And she recommended uh, me to you. So that, you know, it's a very nice and a humble uh, aspect which runs in your family. So friends, uh, isn't it a very noble thought that, you know, uh, people who, who are doing well in life, they don't think about themselves only, but they also think about supporting others who require, uh, you know, moral support, financial support, health support, or even kids if they require anything like stationary, which Radhika ji and her uh, team takes care of. So um, I just want to ask you, um, Mrs. Uh, Radhika Gandhi, ki ye location aapka jo hai, old age home is what you call it, but I feel again it's like you know uh, elderly care center. Care home, yeah. yeah. So we you know Punale jo hai. So uska kahan pe hai uh, location? Whether because there may be people who are watching my uh, interview with you who would like to get in touch with you for whatever reasons, for support or any other thing. So where is it located? Okay. So first of all, I missed out mentioning that this is not just my initiative. Uh, we are a team of five people out of which we two are core people. The uh, second core person with me is my business partner. So in my IT infrastructure business, he's the one with me for last 13 years, Mr. Sanjay Savan. And uh, we both were planning this for last three, four years, but as click now, we have started this. So he's also equally involved. Currently is not available, otherwise he would have also be, have been a part of this interview. Yeah. Coming to your question, uh, this old age home or the old care center is in Vasai East. It's in Dumal Nagar. Uh, there is a Rashmi bungalows plot, uh, approximately 85 bungalows, out of which one of the bungalows we've uh, rented out and we are running this old care center there. Okay, okay. So uh, it's uh, accessible uh, from the highway itself as well as by train if people would like to, uh, you know, give a visit over there. So from station, there are uh, share autos available, direct autos available, and it approximately takes 15 minutes to reach there. From highway, it is much nearer. It uh, From highway, if anybody's traveling by vehicle, it would uh, exactly from highway, if I have to uh, comment, it would be three to four minutes. Great. I will definitely take the exact uh, location from you so that, you know, whenever I host uh, your interview, I'll put it on my feature so that people directly could get in touch with you, giving a reference of the interview, which they have seen on the ISR Connect. Now, a very sensitive thing I would like to ask you, because, you know, as elders, uh, I've got many health issues, you know, like I, uh, they have got to be on medication and you know, sometimes it's emergencies. So how do you manage to, uh, you know, take care of that aspect? Okay. The first step towards this is the in-house team. I have in-house team of experienced caretakers and a nurse. So they are there to manage the basic necessities in terms of medication, in terms of requirements. Mm. So the nurse, obviously, she knows the first level of 
all steps whether it is you know your first aid your your dressing or uh, putting an iv testing all the ba basic norms etc and also parallelly we have tied up with almost 3 to 4 doctors and hospitals surrounding our area which is not more than 2 to 3 kilometers oh great so uh, at we have tied up with them in a manner that whether it is day or whether it is night on our call they have to attend within 15 minutes maximum 30 minutes they come we've experienced this we've tested this they come they check they uh, serve and they do the needful if need be we also have to hospitalize them there and that's also been ensured with respect to the understanding with them we also have tied up with two ambulances and uh, they come very promptly because one of the ambulance service has multiple ambulances so that's a good thing we tied up with we used the services also twice till now and it's been very prompt also we have tied up with the physiotherapist who comes every 15 days to our center and she meets all the people there whoever needs any kind of exercising support she guides them and she follows up every 15 days she comes and does that great it's something uh, beyond comprehension that you're doing because you know generally uh, we don't imagine that it could be possibly done even by four or five of us founders it's something uh, you know a great teamwork what you are doing i just want to ask you one more thing uh, we can also uh, you know like uh, i I'll, i'll link this interview later on to a lot of my uh, acquaintances and friends and viewers of uh, dyser connect who are abroad because they always get worried about their parents who are yes. and yeah. maybe in daisa and you know they always they, of course they have a call, they have their own way of com communicating with them on a um, uh, video call or conferencing conference call as you are technically aware of that but somewhere that worry if they if they are safer in a place like uh, punale i think i'm sure they also could be connected with you and maybe could they can coordinate with you is it uh, do you think that that could be also possible uh, radhika ji yeah yeah that's very much possible because see uh there is a thought behind an old age home uh, ki whoever abandons their parents those people come no i don't personally feel that that's become very less now the situation is uh, from last 20 years if you see the trend kids are going out of india plus there are many families who only have daughters so in such situations it's not possible for the parent to be cared the way they want to be cared right with the support mm -hmm. of their kids so that's where obviously uh, they need to be placed at a place where they get right company they get right care they get the food on time and they are taken care of in a well organized manner so that's where such uh, uh, centers like us help us we have people uh, who are doing goods in their life but because their parents they are into the field of media they are into field a job where they come very late nights they are not able to take care of their parents much the parents feel very lonely so that's why they are there for a comfort for a support and for a you know company as yes. such for the same age group so obviously all the people who wish to we we have, our space is a 5200 square feet bungalow which is a capacity of 30 beds 30 people in this bungalow we have two halls and four bedrooms so people who want to have their parents placed in a private bedroom on a sharing basis that can be done who want their parents to be in the hall in a kind of a dormitory fashion i don't want to use the word dormitory but it's just for the explanation so that they can understand yeah. so there is a big hall which has only six beds and there is much bigger hall which has only 10 beds so they can be placed together all the facilities in terms of the tv the ac within the bedrooms washrooms contained in all the bedrooms is available plus our bungalow has two terraces where they can sit chill out and enjoy the weather it's a very beautiful and pleasant environment surrounding the bungalow also we have a small veranda across all the three corners where we've done gardening etc obviously a few days down the line we will also put some items like jula benches and all so that they can enjoy there as well currently all the tables chairs are placed so that they can sit have the tea coffee whenever they want they can sit and enjoy the weather sunlight etc uh we also have music system karaoke system a library Uh, we also have some of the physiotherapy exercise uh, instruments for them to sit and do the cycling or hand push and pull shoulder exercises etc which will help them have their movements while watching tv or while just chit chatting etc 
Great. It was very nice that you spoke uh, specifically one sentence where pe you know, people uh, always misunderstood <clears throat> that you know, if the parents are in a you know, elderly care home, they are only when they are supposed to be thrown out or they are neglected. But no, it's a very beautiful way. The way you uh, explain that you no, know, there are certain people who are abroad, always worried what will happen to the parents when they are alone. So right. they say you know, voluntarily, maybe parents also would like to go and be with you know people of the same age, or right. maybe like to be in the group of uh, the thing which they they may not be getting the facility when they are in the building and when the children are working. And as what you rightly said, there may be girls who uh, get married. They may be going to other cities, willingly, unwillingly, that is uh, secondary. But, you know, they're always on the back of their mind, hey, mom ka kya hoga, dad ka kya hoga. So you're doing a great, uh, you know, social uh, activity or social work, which I feel you're doing a great service to the society. I wanted to ask you that financial feasibility jo hai, you know, of this project, I mean, uh, could a middle class person or an elderly person uh, afford your uh, finances or your yearly uh, this thing, contribution? So we've kept a very minimal amount so that we understand that today's expenses are rising like everything. Yeah. But obviously a low middle class or a middle class family cannot afford that. Specifically when I told about the second option where they have daughters, they are married, they are in their in-laws' houses, they have their limitations, obligations, responsibilities <coughs> because of which they might not be able to support their parents to that level and to that extent. Mm -hmm. Some of the cases, uh, we have people who are alone. They don't have anybody in the family. Either that that man has not married, either his wife has expired for a long time, and then he doesn't have anybody else in the family. He didn't have kids as well. Such yeah. people do not have financial support. So we charge a very minimal support, uh, minimal charge. And if somebody is uh, not able to give that also, we try to see how we can manage and we ensure that he or she is taken care of. And then we seek support from people for donations in terms of supporting that person or, you know, or we try to manage as much as possible till the time we get the support. Great. So, uh, I mean, using this uh, platform as the ESER Connect, would you like to appeal to people or, I mean, is it there as a, as a policy matter for you with that you can ask for organizations to collaborate with you or, you know, in some form or the other, so that it could be a kind of a relief to, you know, you uh, and your colleagues that which you're managing on your own sometimes as what you said that uh, not everyone may have the uh, financial capability they may not pay you anything at all but if, even if they have five such people expenses are always constant they don't uh, yeah. they, they, they don't reduce you're not getting any relief on that so would you like to appeal to uh, my viewers because they come from all uh, categories i mean they are business people they are developers they are like you who are from, from the IT industry. So you can please request them if you are willing to. Yeah, yeah. I would write to request in two manners. One is you can spread a word about my ashram so that, uh, you know, with respect to this limitation of 30 beds, I would want to be helpful to those 30 people at this stage. Currently, I have six people as it is started just now. So you can pass this message. I would request people so that who really are in need of, you know, that care, that warmth, that time they will be uh, given that requirement, they will be fulfilled, we will give them that care, love, warmth, and the respect that they want in our center. They will have a full-fledged day plan where they'll enjoy, whether it is yoga, meditation, fun time, TV, dance time, activities, etc. And they will live the life they want to live. And that's why we said Puna Ale, it's a home destination, it's a destination once again. The second request would be, we would surely welcome hands of support to us because that is really needed when you initiate uh, an NGO like this. Initially, obviously, there are multiple things in terms of setting up the whole thing, ensuring every small requirement and facilities needed for the elderly people. So I will surely we are open to receive whatever kind of support. Like today, there are people who come and either they have given a wheelchair or they've donated a medical bed or they've donated blankets, they've donated uh, bed sheets, etc. More than that, anybody wishes to do anything, we can. We have, we have multiple things planned for our old age home, like we want to do the shades across, the terraces that are open, the verandas that are open, shades, so that before next rainy season, those are covered, so that when we 
uh, have these jhulas and other facilities they can use that during the rainy season as well absolutely not have come out of it uh, many other requirements as it is a bungalow and it has steps we want the automated uh, that chair that comes now where any person can place any of the elderly person on the chair tie them and take them up and down on a very comfortable manner there are some important things that we need obviously as an investment plus any which ways in any way that they want to support they can always call me my number is uh, i can give you my details you can always post that and uh, they can contact me and we can talk further i can also suggest one more thing before we wind up uh, <clears throat> radhika ji uh, i got a person by the name of megasham pethe who is into uh, i think marketing or manufacturing of uh, stair chairs as what you rightly said you know it's like a lift which goes uh, a single person can sit and it goes on the first floor second floor and uh, you know so he is based in mumbai i can i'll pass on his number to you and vice versa get in touch with the i really wouldn't know uh, what are the charges he will charge or maybe he'll just do it complimentary it's up to them but it just struck me because that's the best way you can get support and it just, i just, i just thought that you know i could be uh, giving his reference and as what we were saying while we were just speaking about uh, your uh, venture or i mean this great human uh, thing what you're doing i was also thinking that girls uh, even if they get married in other families or even if they are in other cities now they are like business persons like you or it uh, you know entrepreneurs like you have got a very uh, broader aspect of thinking they are not the girls of say uh, 100 years back they are really um, you know they have they have proven to others that you know they can make a change in the society like how you have done i mean it could be a live example only thing is that we have got to uh, slowly overcome that uh, thought in our mind that you know if an elderly person from a family is sent over there it's only because he is harassed in the family because generally that's that's a thought process radhika ji where people have and i don't know how it's going to be you know like uh, that myth is broken i really would not know because uh, it will take a little time but i think people yeah because see, that's a wrong perception that's a taboo yeah. there would be such cases but they have become very minimal yeah and because i personally today after in five months there are many people who contacted me i rarely see a case where this is the situation maximum cases i have seen because of uh, you know they want to spend time with their you know same group people they want to because throughout the day even they have they taken care of maid hai but kids are out but they are not they want that you know koi baat kare koi time spent so loneliness is a factor loneliness is the biggest factor yeah uh, neither it is money neither it is harassment neither it is i i see girls who are into trouble also sasural mein with a joint family but still she is sponsoring her father every month and he is with nice. us very nice there are such cases also there are situations where the girls are not able to because they are neither earning and they are dependent mm. on their joint family i understand mm. but uh, there are people who are doing everything possible it's just that the time or unke sath rehna pura time is not possible because now last 15 20 years this situation has also changed ki pehle bahu ghar pe rehti thi ya daughter ghar pe rehti thi now as both the members need to work ghar pe bahut kam mm. log rehte hain jo unko mm. time de sake so it's not attention. intentional ke janboojh ke koi karta nahi hai because Situation is such to manage a family. You require funds. You require salaries or business. Uh, this thing to be set up, and both the parents or both you know the uh, husband and wife have to uh, give their time. Even the child also, you know, it goes to school, then the tuition. So these are things which one cannot avoid in a day-to-day -day life. So right. I'm so thankful that you. Uh, I mean, first of all, thankful to Mansi Goradia who introduced me. That you know you are doing such a great thing. and i'm thankful to you and uh, punale and all your founders savan sir and uh, all your group who are doing this work the isl connect will always be uh, supporting you whenever you require uh, if you want to say something or appeal or even just sending a video you can send it to me i'll host it on sure. the connect as a media i mean partner sure. okay sure thank you for thank your you so much for yeah, your god time. bless you god bless you thank you god bless you too